These are the top eight AI agents from my 30 day AI agent challenge. We're going to be starting with number eight, running through the system, the lesson learned and the benefits and going all the way up to number one. And if you want to go through the entire 30 day AI agent challenge, there is a playlist on my channel that you can click the link and watch the whole thing completely for free. If you don't know me, my name is Dylan. I do about $20,000 a month helping businesses win the game of entrepreneurship by upgrading their operations and automating their sales systems with AI agents. If you want me to do this for you, feel free to click a link down in the description. With that being said, let's get on with the build, shall we? All right, so what we have right here is an AI calling agent. What would happen is that a real estate agent would have a form on their website. This would be a link to the form. Inside of there, when somebody would fill out what property they were interested in, we would grab that information inside of here as a response. We would then send that into a CRM database backend system. Right now we're using Google Sheets. We'd grab the information, name, email, and the property, and we would take that and then we would send that over through a HTTP request, which would allow us to plug into the API of what's known as bland AI systems. We had to make a JSON request inside of here, just like this, and we would send the data across. So when the AI agent called through bland over here in this system, it would be able to know, hi, your name is Sarah. You're calling about the residence property on 34th street. When would be a good time for you? Great. We'll pass it along to our sales rep. So this was an awesome system you could see as a powerful tool as an AI agent to be able to make those calls for you. And one of the things that I've seen about this is that these voice calling agents are getting really popular in terms of customer service. So if you have, let's just say a, a practice of some kind, a therapy practice or a mechanic business, and you don't have time to get to the phone, these are great systems that if you aren't able to answer the phone, the AI can then call you back and figure out what you need and be able to service you. So that was number eight. Moving on to number seven here, we have these Twitter posting or X posting system based on news articles. And what we were doing with this is we had a perplexity system that would allow us to tap into Perplexity AI. Perplexity is an amazing online AI news data sourcing generation system. And so what we did is we just had it monitor the internet for anything of ladies news around say AI agents for business owners. We'd grab that data, we'd have ChatGPT then take that and then work that into a message for us to be able to send across, which was really powerful. And once we had that thing turned into a Twitter message, so we had that tweet down into something very small. And what we did here is we did something called few shot prompting, which means we're showing how to respond when when you say this, when I say this, when the data is coming in this way, I'm expecting the AI to output this. And you do this pattern a few shots. Here's another example. So that's another shot. Here's how you want you to respond again. And so what we're doing is saying, this is the news coming in. This is how I want you to respond. And then we take that and then we would feed that all the way in to Twitter to be able to post on an interesting topic. Now you could do this again for if you wanted real estate or you could do this for, I don't know, divorces or you could do this for tax benefits or whatever the things might be for you. But these was a powerful system to be able to automate your marketing on Twitter or X. Number six here is Botsify. Botsify, this looks relatively simple, but a lot of work is done on the back end of the system. What this was, I had a comment come up on my YouTube channel where people are asking me, this is great, but how do I train a agent, right, to be able to do answers for me on my website in terms of if I have somebody coming to my website and they're asking me about orders and I want to be able to have the bot be able to respond with, give me your order number and I'll tell you the status of delivery. The way that this would work, is we went to Botsify here. You can see how this thing is set up and stuff, but, and by the way, all of these ones we're going through, they're available in the AI agent playlist. So if you wanna go and watch exactly how to do this step-by-step, -step, there's a run through back on the 30 day AI agent challenge. Inside of here, you create these stories and this is flows of how the information happens in terms of responses. Now, these are all the different types of inputs you can have, right? So when the user says hi or hello, you have a general response. You can have some sort of conversational thing happening all the way up to making a payment happen. Over here, what we're doing is this, is we're grabbing the data that is being, that, that is coming in from Botsify. And with Botsify, we take this and we can export this as code that we then insert on our website. This could be a WordPress, a Webflow, a Go High Level, whatever it might be. But you take this and you'd put this on and to a website. Then when the data would come in from the user, 
we would then search our database, and this was primarily what I did for the example for the website, was around the order ID. We would look at that order ID, figure out what the stage was at, and then we could then respond back and say, yes, here is the status of your order. This is a way that you can have the chatbot be able to be trained on a database of information. Now we used it for this, and there's many more things you could do. If you want to have it be more robust, you could be, have it be trained on an FAQ of your data. You could have it be trained on best practices, return policies, escalations. You could have it notify management or somebody else if something happens, or if someone says you're, you're awesome, you could even give them a link to give you a review on Yelp or Google reviews. So this is Botsify, pretty powerful stuff. Number five, this was a GPT lead nurture system. And the way that this worked was actually pretty fun. Custom GPTs were pretty popular and still are. And what we made here was a GPT that was a lead magnet that you could give. And let's just say you were a fitness coach in the space where you could say, I helped create a GPT that helps you figure out how to get the body of your dreams. And what this is on this side is we made this GPT over here where we gave it some custom instructions and let know we're gonna help it create a fitness quiz. And what we did is the clever bit that we did is we went into the action section and we created a schema. Now, if you go to my YouTube channel and you actually watch this video on the GPT for making a lead magnet, I actually give you a link that will actually give you questions to answer that will turn it into a schema that then you can upload to your own chat GPT to be able to have this. But what happens is you upload this schema into here like this, right? And the AI will start to ask you questions inside of here on inside of chat GPT. It'll ask you a series of questions of the type of body type that you're looking for, right? So I can put inside what I'm looking for. What would happen on the back side, once that gets web hooked all the way through and there's a part where it says send the data through on chat GPT, We'll dump that into our Google Sheets CRM, gather all the data, including the recommendation of what body type that we're looking for. And what we did is we created a series of different types of emails. And based on the body type, based on the quiz that they filled out, this is like a quiz funnel, we would send them a customized message on the type of diet or type of weight training or type of cardio that they would need to get that body, right? It's either gonna be in the kitchen, in the gym, or out running. And so each one of these were custom messages based upon the information, grab their information in terms of names and details, split that up and then dump that in. They could receive a customized lead magnet that would provide them value by being able to chat with the AI and using these GPTs. That was a pretty powerful system. Number four we have here is a really popular one. A lot of people asked for it, we did it. I actually ended up doing a, a bunch of client work for uh, clients that asked me to build these systems out custom for them, uh, more advanced versions of this. But what this is essentially is helping you close the deal with leads that have been shown interest, right? So over here, you have a lead that maybe gave you their contact information like email or phone number and all that fun stuff. Now we actually have their contact and information and now we want to be able to book them. We want to be able to get them into the meeting, go from a lead to a sales conversion event. The way that we did that with this is somebody would fill out a form Right, this could be a form on your website or whatever it might be. We would then search Google Calendar. And in here I use Google Calendar as an example. You can use a bunch of other different calendar systems that you would like to be able to use. And what we did is we gathered all the slots that were available. We'd add that into a data store. Uh, this is like a Google spreadsheet, but it's an internal to make.com. Some of the benefits of this is that you don't get API throttled. Some of the clients I work with on the bigger side of things is that if you send too many requests to say Google spreadsheets or whatever, you'll get throttled on the data. So sometimes if you have a large set of data or you have a lot of leads coming through like some of the, my clients do, we wanna keep it on the data store side of things so that you can keep it internally and don't hit with those data throttle points. Now, inside of here, we're grabbing the information about the lead. We're then getting the record from that lead to the key. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're having the AI agent be able to look at the available times that we have for our sales agents and also the person's information to whip up a message to go, hey, Bob, or whoever this person might be, we've got available for these times for this service. Let me know if you're interested to book it. And it sends this message out via Twilio. Twilio is a text message service. You can set that up to be able to send automated text messages out there. There's some certain policies that you need to put in place like an opt-in message on your website or other verification systems. There's a process to get through that. But once we have that, we then update our record to say the AI 
recommended that this was the time that we booked. Now, this is the looping part. This is something that, that can get more advanced with practical systems that you do build out for this, but this is the bones of how this works. The person emails or text messages back, it goes through, we look up that relative information, and then we go down two routes. Route one is down here at the bottom that says, suggest a new time. So what happens is if the user over here says that, you know what, this time does not work for me, that doesn't work. We have another AI determining, what are you saying? Are you confirming the message? Are you saying that you need another time? What, are, what does this look like? Because generally speaking, people are gonna go down a couple of different paths. And this is where the agent, the being able to make decisions and take actions based upon opinions really matter here. So we train the system inside of here to be able to come up with answers that say, okay, if they say I agree this time in some format, send them one way. If they say that time doesn't work, send them another way. Uh, more advanced users and clients, I've built this out to have many of these different spokes for different paths, but what this looping pattern does is it will suggest a new time. It will then go through here and find some new available slots. It will suggest two new times inside of here, and it will then message them over here and send them another message. This will then loop through here all the way across to here. And then once they go through this a number of times, then what will happen is it will eventually be agreed to where the AI will go across and then you will end up booking an appointment and then adding it to the calendar. And then this would automatically notify the sales rep that you have on your team if they have it in the Google Calendar. There's other ways to do it with other systems. This was the booking AI agent system that a lot of people liked and found a lot of value in. Okay. Sounds like someone just started to do a lawnmower in the background, so I don't know if you can hear that, but salavi. All right. Number three, this was how to build a, a data scraping website information gathering system using Replit in less than 10 minutes. And in the video, I run you through how you can make something where if you put in a website inside of here by using Replit to generate this website, you can then on the back side be able to grab the data coming through Replit here and pass that through webhook request all the way through to be able to then search the website, we could then parse out the data from the website and look for a pattern that would give us the actual email from that website and then grab that and then have AI be able to organize that information into a point and then be able to send that data back through for us with this. So you can say, okay, this is what the website does. And then it also gave you their your email as well. So. Here's this as well. So you have the summary of the company and then you also have the email value of the company. And then that would get passed right back through here. So on the front side, all you gotta do is put it in a website, it tells you exactly what they are and what they're about. This is a great initial AI agent system when you're trying to gather information on a potential client that you wanna work with. And this was something that I, in the video, I show you how to build this system within 10 or 11 minutes in this video, but you can imagine the possibilities on top of this because you can then plug into multiple other types of sources to gather and what we call enrich leads or enrich the data. So you'll be able to actually build a system that gives you more information about the client or prospect to be able to make a proper decision. Number two, really popular here was our AI podcasting agent. What this one did was really awesome and super fun and I had built out, but basically the way that worked is we went to Feedly over here and Feedly is a news source gather of information. And what we did is we put in the fact, whatever topic that we're interested in, whatever topic that we're interested in, it would then search for all of the information about that. It would grab relative articles that we were interested in. It would then summarize it into little micro podcast bits and it would then take it and then post it on our own podcast. And it was using our own AI voice generated version of ourselves so that basically you all you had to do was set this up, go to bed, and then this thing would automatically generate podcasts for you repeatedly. It's a very powerful system to be able to make something like this a no brainer for activities. Running through it, you can see we're grabbing AI marketing news, we're writing this into a script, we're gonna then take that and we're gonna be uploading that. We then route that through and we're either gonna basically create a new script for the day or we're gonna be adding to that script, usually doing three different news sources and we'd be appending that together. On this section over here, we would then look for those documents every day, it would go off. We would then take that information 
in terms of the documents and we would take it and craft it into a speech using 11 labs where we would then say, okay, great. This is our voice clone of the news for the day. AI news, July 31st or whatever it might be. The news for the day. NVIDIA makes a trillion dollars. Then you have the podcast title and description based upon the script. And then we took that and we uploaded it to SoundCloud right over here, just like this. And this was a great way to be able to make a system to auto-generate podcasts for you, making it instantly a, a marketing buddy on your side. Now, I've seen several people take this and roll with it and end up making like crypto podcasts and other channels, but it's a really powerful tool. And number one, we have here, drum roll please, we have the news to social media content creation system that posts across multiple news channels with an approval human loop process. So how does this work? Essentially, we're tapping into a couple of different news sources here. Over here, we have this RSS feed, which was a Google news feed that we're looking up, let's just say AI news. We then take that information, have it be synthesized and processed by perplexity, running it from one LLM to another LLM. We then took that and then we run it into perplexity right here as one LM. We're running it into an, the second LM by going to ChatGPT and saying, I want you to write a post for Facebook. I want you to write one for IG. I want you to write one for LinkedIn. I want you to write one in for Twitter. And then what it would do, it would take that and it would even have Instagram generate an image for you and it would dump all of these things into a spreadsheet where the user, the final person could take that, look at that, review it, and be able to say, great, I approve or I disapprove or tweak it or whatever you need to, and all they have to do is hit yes, and it would send it off to the races. Again, it's, it's available on the AI Agent 30 Day Playlist if you wanna go watch that and check that out. It's there and available for you. I've built systems like this for clients. They absolutely love it for the time savings, variations of platforms and data sources, but the flow is essentially the same. On the backside here, you can see we're grabbing that data. We're then updating the information that are being kicked across. And then when we kick that across, we then, when the person says yes, they would then post it to the Facebook pages. Over here, we're using Cloud Convert so that we could grab the image and then be able to post it onto uh, Instagram. And we're also going over here to LinkedIn, put it on LinkedIn, and then X, formerly known as Twitter, posting it there as well. These are all of the systems, one to nine, on the top eight AI agents. I'll be doing more in-depth tutorials based upon your interest, the things that you all liked. I'm gonna be doing more tutorials on these topics. I'm gonna to be talking more about strategy of building systems of my experience of being an AI agent developer. I'll be doing more advanced systems as well. And let me know what you are interested in and drop the link down below. I've had some requests for people to, for me to make a community. I don't know if I'm going to, but if there is enough interest, I might end up doing that as well. But if you have any comments or any questions or any builds or things you'd like to see, feel free to drop it down below and I'll look at it and I will build that into the content creation roadmap. All right, y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. Much love, much appreciations, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye now.